All right, a targeted approach to pancreatic cancer could save lives and help spare damage to surrounding tissue. Health reporter Haley Hernandez has much more on this procedure that's not being done many places in America. Yeah, Houston is one of the only places where they're using this novel technique called radiofrequency ablation. And what one UT doctor tells me is this may one day be a tool for the treatment of pancreatic cancer. Several years ago, Dean McMahon was given terrible news. He had well, pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer has such a bad um, success rate, like under 13%. So in days you start chemo, so you have to kind of process all that very quickly. But luckily for him, he was one of the first candidates for a clinical trial with Dr. Tosani at UT Health and Memorial Hermann using radio frequency ablation, which is a needle that travels directly into a tumor and uses heat to destroy the cancer cells, saving surrounding areas from too much damage and training the immune system to do something remarkable. There is a potential that not only you are killing the tumor cells, but you are also activating body's immunity that can help to destroy the rest of the tumor cell. This might be the breakthrough doctors need to get inside pancreatic cancer cells and save lives like McMahon's. With this technology, you can deliver very precise thermal energy. So far, we've been very, very successful. This is still under clinical trial, but we have treated many patients with a very, very good results. McMahon is doing great now, and his chemotherapy port was removed. That's a confident move by his doctors, showing his life can return to normal. I'm a pancreatic cancer survivor with, uh, excuse me, without a port, because they normally, uh, they normally expect the cancer to come back.